Hey, what's up guys? Mick here, and due to some technical issues, I'm on the phone with Mad Bad Voodoo, and we're actually going to do a little interview with him here about his uh, his YouTube channel. How are you doing tonight? Doing good. That's good to hear. Um, so, where I wanted to start with this first um, was basically oh, trying to get the cover off my phone. Um, is basically what made you or what? What was the deciding factor to make a YouTube channel? Uh, with, with, uh, well, there was a lot of there was a lot of reasons for it at the time, but uh, I mean, we're talking guy, we're talking years ago now. Um, I think there was a difference between making my first YouTube channel and what made me actually start the vlog. Um, first uh, channel that I made was my RL Hunter One channel, but I didn't post any videos on that initially. That channel was just solely to watch YouTube videos and be, and be able to comment. Because back in those days, you had to have, you had to have your own channel in order to comment on other people's uh, videos. Um, and I did that for probably kind of long, well, a year and a half before I ever started my Mad Bad Movie channel. Mm -hmm. um, and then one day I decided that I wanted to actually participate. I wanted to step it up and actually get involved in making videos. Um, so, but at the time I thought, well, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to make a, uh, or make videos or upload videos with, um, using a channel that has my real name on it. Of course, now everybody knows my name is Richard Hunter, but back then, you know, I was a little leery about that. Yeah. And, uh, so then I created the Made That channel, but I, I think a big part of it, as far as why I wanted to do videos, um, you know, I wanted to get in the game. I mean, I was sick of sitting on the sideline, I was sick of watching. Part of it also was because I wanted to, I had a lot to say. And when the whole thing started going down in the holler with Frito and Super Trooper and that whole real life stuff, I thought it would be a good idea to document it for a lot of reasons. But, uh, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of motivators, truthfully. Well, that's, well, that's definitely, I mean, that's similar to my reasons, although I haven't had any issues like what you had down on your real life series. But, you know, that's... That's definitely, I mean, that's, that's really, that's really interesting. Um, you know, let's be honest too, Mick, if, if you're going to have anything to say on other people's videos, it gives you a lot more credibility if you put yourself out there on videos also. You know, one, one of the pet peeves of mine, and I know it's a lot of people who make videos on YouTube, is that you've got a lot of people running their socks that have <laughs> absolutely no, no skin in the game. You know, they're basically in the shadows talking shit. When, you know, they don't have a video up of themselves, you know, they're just kind of like, you know, um, throwing crap from the from the bleachers, you know, and, and I think that, for me, I felt a lot better about being able to comment, especially a lot of the initial videos that I was into watching were political videos, mm -hmm. and so I kind of had a hard time, you know, saying things if I didn't have, you know, my own video up, so. Yeah, oh, I agree with you there, um. I notice a lot of people who have commented on a couple of my certain videos. I'd say a good percentage of them don't have any videos uploaded, just a bunch of likes yeah. on a certain genre. So. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Oh. I, I, rarely will you ever find a troll that makes his own videos. The exception of that, of course, I think is Mr. Beast, which is probably the most famous troll. But uh, most trolls don't um, don't don't have videos posted at all. And if they do, they're not videos of them. It's crap that they've copied from other people or other sources. Yeah. Um. The next thing I wanted to kind of get on is, I mean, I me personally, I'm. 99 percent sure I know the answer to this, and I'm pretty sure some of your viewers do. But what section of videos, what videos that have you made that have been the most influential on your channel? Do you think? You know, that's actually, my real life videos are hands down what I'm famous for, um, and or best known for, or best loved for, or whatever. Um, but having said that, the most influential in respects to my life and the things that have changed my life the most, truthfully, as hard as this may be to believe, but it's my interview with the Hillbilly video. Hmm. That was the video that started... Well, that was a video that, that uh, a production um, uh, agency, or I should say production agent, um, casting and development person seen from a production house that actually prompted them to contact me and ask if I was interested in doing a television show. So without the interview of the Hillbilly video, 
that may never have happened. Um, now, once there's a whole story to that, but once they contacted me, I actually turned them on to my real life videos, and then my only guest videos, and it snowballed from there. And the next thing you know, I was making a TV pilot. But um, I would say that uh, the, the the video that had the most impact on my life in general has been the the interview the other videos, only because that was the one that was audited. Yeah. And, went to the, and it took me to the next level. Well, I know those that series right there. Um, I mean, I've watched your videos since, oh, probably three, four years ago. Um, and those, I mean, I've watched since pretty much all your videos since then. I will say the real life series is the one that, I mean, I didn't catch that until probably you'd already made seven or eight videos, but I sat for probably a good hour watching every single one of those videos. So. Yeah, I can't even remember meeting you. I just know that you've been you've been part of my YouTube channel as far as part of uh, part of my YouTube life since seemingly very early on. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the last things I want to cover because I don't want to take up your time too long. Since out of the kindness of your heart, you're doing this for me. Uh -huh. But. Uh, <laughs> Where do you see your channel going? Do you see you doing more of the real life stuff, or do you, are you going to start moving into the gun, uh, more gun videos? Or well, I'm going to do more gun videos. I think I, I I'm really not. I mean, I have signed a contract with uh, a production house and a network, mm -hmm. and it limits my ability to do a lot of things. And one of the things that I'm really not supposed to do is go any further with my real life story um, or talk about oil and gas. There's, there's things that I'm really not supposed to talk about because it would put me in breach of contract. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I'm about to break this. This contract's like 40 or, what, 40 or 41 or 42 pages long. Um, I would love to show the part that shows that there's, there's like a million dollars hanging over my head. Mm -hmm. and which is the fine that I would be looking at if, if I fucked up and, and became a breach of contract. Yeah. You uh, know, it's, it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big beat down. Yeah. <laughs> so, but as far as my channel goes, I mean, I'm, I clearly am limited. Um, I'll do some stuff off grid. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get too much into that, but I'll do some off grid stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I mean, you know, you said guns, uh, just you know, whatever. I just, it, I just have to be, very careful. I'm, contractually, I'm supposed to have everything vetted, uh, and I've not been very good at doing that. <laughs> but um, I, I, I'm sure eventually they'll yank my chain and get me back in line. But, you know, uh, yes, you may think this channel's always been very random anyway. I mean, one minute you'd see a gun video, you know, the next thing you know, you'd see, you know, I don't know, an interview of the Hillbilly, the next thing you'd see a cooking video. Um, I've, I've always kind of been a very ran random person, but. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'd like to. I'd like to do more gun stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it. I'm not really supposed to do any political stuff, just because <laughs> I'm not supposed to do anything controversial. <laughs> um, and I'm not. And I'm not supposed to do anything that will quote unquote embarrass the network. <laughs> <laughs> you, know? you know. So there you have it. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's about everything I had planned to ask you there. Um, I really do. Again, want to thank you for. Uh, doing the interview for me hopefully it turns out well like i said with the using the phone speaker phone here i don't know how well to turn out but i just want to thank you and i'm pretty sure a lot of youtubers want to thank you for all the work you've done on here and the entertainment you've brought to a lot of people so again well, it's just my pleasure and um yeah hopefully this, this uh phone interview works out if, if uh you know if it does cool if not we'll try to figure out something else all right. Well, again, thank you very much, Mad Vad Voodoo, and keep up the good work. And uh, I definitely know I'll be talking to you soon. See ya. All right.